Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about Amazon Guard, and more specifically, I wanna talk about how I'm using Home Assistant to actually trigger, to arm, and disarm the Amazon Guard. So if you don't know what Amazon Guard is, Amazon Guard, when you leave the house, what it will do, it will activate all of your Amazon devices throughout the house into listening mode. So it puts them into listening mode, and what they do is they listen for broken glass, fire alarms, so like sirens, things like that, unusual sounds, so I guess big crashes and things. And then what it'll do is it'll record that and it will send you a notification on your phone to let you know that something happened. So you can listen to the recording. And then if you want, I guess optionally, you would be able to then just drop in to those Amazon devices and sort of speak to whoever's in your house or if something is in your house, listen further to see what's going on. It's sort of a, I mean, it's something you own. So if you own Amazon devices, this is just something you can enable. So I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. The biggest problem I've had with the guard is there was no way to programmatically sort of enable it and disable it. So ideally I would have wanted to do it with presence detection, but it just, they don't allow it. So now with home assistant, that's what I'm doing. I'm enabling it when we leave the house, it just gets enabled. And then when we come home, it gets disarmed uh, and it turns it off. It works really, really good. It's really cool, I think. Um, so let's check it out. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go onto your phone and you need to enable uh, enable Amazon Guard. I don't think it's available worldwide, but definitely in the States, probably most of North America, it's, uh, it is, it has been rolled out. I'm sure it's going to be rolled out to other countries as time goes on. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to launch it on the mobile. You can't actually activate it, uh, through, through the web interface, but on the mobile you can. So basically you launch the Amazon application and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Amazon guard, and then we're going to enable it. The process is really straightforward. So now that it's enabled, let's jump into the computer. Let me show you the home assistant piece. If you haven't visited my repo, you can always, whenever I do new additions and new modifications to the house, I usually create an issue. So I have this issue list with ha which has basically all of the open tasks that I have. There's also a uh, weekly digest that show you all the different sort of things that I've been working on uh, throughout the week. So you can catch up, you can get inspiration, you can see what I'm doing. For guard, what we're going to do, you need two components. The first is the Alexa media player. If you, well, actually, the very first thing you need is Hacks. Hacks is the Home Assistant Community Store. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to install very, very easily um, custom components. So you can, you can go into the Hacks Community Store, you can hit plus, you can search for various custom components and just basically install them. This works with Hacks, uh, this works with, I was going to say Hasiel, but I'm not even sure what the new name is, but this works with Home Assistant and Home Assistant Core and Home Assistant Docker. I run Home Assistant Docker uh, and it works just great. So once you have hacks installed, you have this front end. The next piece, I did a recent poll actually, and it looked like it looks like most of, uh, most of you are running hacks already. The second piece you need to install after hacks is the Alexa media player. The media player allows Home Assistant to interact with all of your Amazon devices. It was developed by Keaton Taylor. So they're constantly updating it. There's lots of great things, but what it allows us to do is it allows us to interact with Guard. Once that's installed and you've restarted Home Assistant, you should come over here and you should see now the new alarm control. So the alarm control panel will have this Alexa Guard option. You can see it's armed. Uh, you can arm it and you can disable it. You can do this all through the front end of Home Assistant. So we're going to click arm. 
and this is gonna turn on guard. You know the guard is running by, basically you'll see a little ring circling around the all of your echo devices. And then you can click disarm. If you look through um, hacks, you should definitely be able to find all sorts of different uh, front ends and cards that sort of give you a nicer interface uh, for the for, for the alarm, for the control panel, for the alarm control panel. But for me, I actually don't want to even click arm or disarm. I don't want to have to interact with it. I want it to happen automatically. So I want it to happen based on presence. So if we go, now that we have, now that we have this, this entity, if we go over to the YAML, I basically have, I basically have two routines. Um, one of them I kick off when we all leave, sort of called away, and another one uh, we use when we come home. So those are the two pieces. I need to know when everyone's gone, and I need to know when someone comes home. So for the piece where everyone's gone, I decided to choose my away. So this away mode, it basically will trigger if the if the nest determines we're away, if home assistant determines we're away, or if something else. So something else that triggers via uh, if this then that. If it triggers it and sense uh, it tells us that we're so I have some devices that don't have native home assistant and they have if this then that um, support. So if 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 this then that senses that we're or is told that we're not home, it will then send that request to or that notification to home assistant. So these are the three triggers. Then we run some conditions. And then what we do is we basically just run this nice, simple service that says uh, alarm control panel, alarm, arm away. This is the service. This is the entity. By running this, it will put the guard into guard mode. The next piece is when we come home. So the easiest piece, everyone's gonna have something different. Uh, I'm sure you have something when you, that you run when you come home. For me, I have this people greeting, so it's an announcement that when someone comes home, the house announces it over my text-to-speech and says, you know, blah, 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 somebody's home. So that was the perfect one to run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the trigger that tracks our two devices. Uh, once we once it's once one of them is noted as home, we're gonna we're gonna do some speech stuff. We're gonna announce that that person's home, and then we're gonna basically come down here to the alarm section. So what I've done here is I've actually added a condition because I only want to run this second part, this disarm. So what we're doing is we're running a disarm. I only want to run a disarm if the alarm was armed. So if guard was armed then I wanna disarm it. Otherwise, I just exit and I don't do anything. So it's very, very straightforward. It's really just two services. Once you have hacks enabled and you have the Alexa media player, it's just two services. You just need to put one service on an automation when, you, when everyone's gone. So in my case, it's the away. And then another uh, service that disarms it when someone comes home. And the reason I'm checking to see if it's armed is because once the first person comes home, I don't need to run this again a second time. Uh, once it's disarmed, it's disarmed. So basically this is this is the way I run uh, guard via home assistant. It just works in the background. It uh, It's just another layer of security or protection, uh, another feature that we have that now we can leverage programmatically via home assistant. So I really like it. It was super easy to, implement just those two services for the most part. If you have all the building blocks in place, it's just adding those two services. So if you have hacks, if you have Amazon Echo devices, I highly recommend uh, setting up guard. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.